Well, good morning. Today we're at the Motorhome and Camper Van Show at Peterborough. Well, good morning. Today we're at the National. We're not. Good morning. Today we're at the National Motorhome and Camper Van Show at Peterborough at the East of England Showground. And there's a garage which is a pretty good size. What's that thing on my bedroom? What's that thing on the boat? We're spoiled for Joyce. And places for coffee. Big freezer and through to the back of the unit. <laughs> and we've been walking here now 10 minutes, and all we've seen is camper vans, loads and loads of. Well, time for a change. <laughs> well, I think that might be time for a change. <laughs> well, this is where we've been. We've got one, but we're going to look anyway. Well, good morning. Manual gearbox it's Dave. Peugeot, as we all know from previous. That's not me set the alarm off. Nice sunroof and uh, nice positive lockers here when you're out motorhoming for £37,000. And I'm sure if you spoke to the dealer, they would uh, come up with an offer for you at the show today. Oh, and that's the corner washroom. How's it go again? Oh yeah. Very good. I like the sink. Let's buy it. I like the storage. Good size shower. The side washroom, that's quite good. Having that, babe? Yeah, you've got a headboard down. That's quite nice. Yeah, you've got the climbing over thing now, haven't you? Yeah. Mm. A bit more tricky. <laughs> yeah, and then you've got the. I thought you were going to attach me for that. Just here. And a, and a high bed. I'd have a job getting in and out of that. Old boy like me. I'm standing uh, full height on the step and I've still got plenty of headroom. I'm five foot ten. Uh, still got an inch or so above my head. And the galley. Very nice. And then we got in the back of the van here, we've got an island bed and uh, the garage underneath. What is that for then? That's a door of some sort. That's a cup what you put coffee in. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> that bit looked like a door, mm -hmm. look. Um, that's a wardrobe door that's come off a van. Oh, is it? Yeah. You've got you can store stuff under here. You put your knickers and socks and stuff in here, couldn't you? You could. Yeah. A lot of pair of knickers in there, eh? <laughs> <laughs> And then this goes down, doesn't it, Yeah, I think you get it. Well, they've just got a catch-up. Oh, mushrooms are rather good. I like the nice, um, shiny... Uh, sink. Sink. Ooh. Uh, I wouldn't use, how would you use a shower in it? And the girls are contemplating how you're going to use the shower. 
Nice, nice size fridge though. Nice little Have kitchen. Yeah. yeah, nice little fridge. The yeah. Freezer, isn't it? Very good. That's to um, those springy, springy uh, thingies under the mattress there. I, I can't think what they're called now, but they're to provide air so that you don't get any moisture and mould forming underneath there. There's loads um, of storage down on the, the on the solid wood surface. So there's lots of drawers and things under there. Yep, storage. Soft clothes. All soft clothes. I'm repeating everything you say now. <laughs> and uh, cupboards that side cupboards as well. There. Yeah. That one. Put that one. Yeah, it's cupboard there. Yeah. And drawers. And all above. And, and yeah. For me, just, just a. Um, just a point of interest for me there's very little window in the back there there's no windows oh, only in the back um, yeah and no roof light so that would feel a little bit closed in for my taste but um, just saying yeah that's right because of the pop-up you don't have a window in the roof that's very true well spotted this one's a 2013 Swift Bolero again. Oh, I wonder why my wife keeps getting drawn towards the Boleros. What have we got in this one then, girls? Single beds and washer. Oh, we've got a door that's shutting on me. That wind is catching me. It's got big, big Oh, I like the seating. That's rather unusual. I haven't seen that before. 2013, nice big window at the front. Hmm. Well, we've come to the end of our couple of days at the motorhome and camper van show in Peterborough. It's been a long couple of days. We've seen lots of vehicles and lots of new ideas. And uh, today was a little bit chilly in that wind, I have to say. But uh, it's been a great couple of days. I hope you've enjoyed some of the footage. Uh, some of it's a little bit hit and miss, I know. So uh, sorry about that. But uh, give hope it's given you some ideas as to what you can do if you're a motorhomer or if you're thinking about being a motorhomer in the future. All remains for me to say is thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to our channel and giving us a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you again very, very soon. We're out in the motorhome again next weekend and we'll be taking the camera with us and, of course, Bertie and Ethel, our new uh, car we tow behind our motorhome. Until then, say goodbye. Take care now. Bye-bye.